This is what I ate today in Singapore. So you already know that I ate a durian this morning and the burps were not plain. So I was hoping that maybe I could cure myself with some sugarcane juice, but then I realized that I needed something solid. So we also went to the stall and this is shui guo. But in my best attempt at Hokkien, it's shui gui. It's a savory rice cake with chili and delicious toppings. But I was still hungry and the burps were not settling y'all. So we had a popia and it takes the shape of a spring roll and this man is hand making the outer wrapping. The filling was crunchy and and savory and just as I thought my burps were starting to subside we had Indo Malay food and they do not mess around with their spice okay the beef rendang was like delicious tasting fire we also had potato pancake and tempeh with green beans it was so spicy and so good but you guessed it spicy durian rendang burps so I thought maybe I can ease the spice with some high anise chicken and rice we went to a well-known place but these were my thoughts honestly I don't know if I'd stand in line again for it I'm glad that I tried it though. I've never tried fresh jackfruit before, so I had that. Mmm, a little citrusy, a little melony, pineapple y, and a red banana. Cheers. This is like a lot creamier than a normal banana, but it tastes like a banana. For my last meal, I got some Nonya Zongzi, and Nonya food is unique to Singapore, so I was excited to see what it tasted like. The sauce that went with it was very good. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. And I think this finally settled my stomach. So 